You know how the technology industry works, right? As soon as you started hearing about 4G, they started showing 5G. I'm surprised out here that we're not seeing 6G. But now 5G, instead of being just something that was thrown around, is becoming a reality. And people are saying that the first phones will be out in 2019. And now I believe it. Now here's a very interesting thing. I'm here at Qualcomm and I'm going to take you through this. This was the reference design for a chipset, a system on an actual chip that would be for 5G. And this is what they showed. Most companies show it of this size. Remember, here's my hand. This is the size, just for reference. And the first reference design of an actual phone that they've shrunk this into this is right in here. This is a Qualcomm Snapdragon reference design for a 5G phone. And what all will they achieve with a 5G phone? Let's take a look. At its large booth at the Mobile World Congress, Qualcomm wasn't just talking about 5G in the coming future. In fact, they concentrated on real-life usage of 5G. The company simulated non-standalone 5G new radio in Frankfurt and San Francisco. They show us how the bandwidth was increasing. Usual browsing, downloading and multimedia was far quicker, better than LTE alone. Even with the weak signals, there were substantial reductions in latency compared to existing LTE networks. Obviously, you're going to start to see the 5G start to show up, right? Year, year and a half, you're going to really see it start to take off. And, uh, and governors, for example, of a state in the, in the U.S., for example, where they're going to be empowered. They have budgets, right? They have constituents. They're going to be able to leverage this technology to actually help those cities. Also, medical is going to impact it as well, impact it in a very positive way, mission critical, and automotive. So in that next year, I actually believe that you're going to start to see more crystallization of the applications that will really benefit or be enabled because of 5G. That's not the only thing Qualcomm is working on. It plans to take on computing devices by making Snapdragon chipsets for Windows 10 laptops. If you've got a very low cost data package available and now you couple that with uh, a, a 4G enabled laptop, for example, with Windows on Snapdragon, it's quite a powerful combination. You're always connected. You're always connected. Your apps can sit in the cloud. All your photos can sit in the cloud. All your movies can sit in the cloud. You can go anywhere, open it up, have access to them. And it'll run for a long time with fanless, low power designs. It's not, it's not a mistake that we want to leverage that capability, right? That's a, you're coming from a different part of the spectrum. And when you can leverage that low power and the ability to have that modem technology, very powerful and enabling for the consumer. ASUS is one such technology giant on board with Qualcomm, ASUS Novago, which is powered by Snapdragon. And this product, is, uh, we provide, actually when I talked to the Qualcomm, I said the three DNA. The first one, connectivity, so always connected. The second one is uh, instant on, always on. Instant on means uh, the standby is uh, more than 30 days. Actually, if we want to experience the more than 30 days standby, you can see in the smartphone. But now, in the PC, you can enjoy that. And for the connectivity, we want to achieve like a gigabit, gigabit LTE capable laptop. So this is the second. The third one, we want this the device is very beautiful. Qualcomm is dedicated to bring 5G as soon as possible to the world. They want 5G to be commercial and we think they will manage this by the end of next year.